everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Nora's Cove. I am Yoshida and I love to get my life together by planning minimally, functionally, and also planning my budget. So as promised, I told you guys that I would do a setup of my budget. Um, this is still all 2023. So what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to dismantle this and then we're going to get in to it with the new things. Okay, so I pretty much took, well, I took pretty much everything out um, that I no longer needed. That was like for 2023. I may have to go through some of it, but um, of course I start with my inbox and then I downloaded these pages because I was just too lazy to do a dated monthly this year. Um, I may get to it at a later date, but I downloaded these from Rosie Paper Tree and... I think that's how I'm going to set up my monthly. So I have calendar here. I have calendar listed here. So that's where all of these will go. Okay, so now we have our calendars in there from January to December. I'm going to try to keep those in there without it being too bulky. And then now let's get into the finance bundle. And as I was kind of prepping for this video, I realized I need to actually list um, the separate separate things like the paycheck budget and all of that i don't care for uh, undated monthly i like to add it into the bundle so that those who need one they can do it and this is monthly so we're going to just start here let's start here 2024 calendar i don't need that so let me take that out let me just put this in and I'm going to try my best to use the perpetual calendar this year. Um, haven't quite decided what it is going to be. And then we have uh, goals. Uh, I like for those to be in the front so I might move those and have them kind of right after the inbox. Also, I have this dashboard. This was in our December box. So I'm going to put that right after the inbox, I think. It's like a cover page. Okay. And I left some of these sticky notes only because I'm trying to get my um color thing all right so we have calendar okay oh goals need to be in front of the calendar right after inbox all right and if you hear some noise in the background that's me printing actually a bundle for a customer. All right, now let's move on to monthly. So now I don't need this calendar. However, I'm going to keep some of these notes, but I'm going to put those in the back. But I did save some from last year. So I'm going to move these notes to the back. And so far, my sections are going to stay the same. I probably will update them maybe in a month or so not certain all right let's get back to monthly and i want to keep this as the cover page for monthly and this is like um i have it folded over but it is some expenses from last year let me just take that out and i'll leave a little bit of this for like a brain dump and 
Here we go with monthlies. And it should be 12. Okay, that's monthly. And then going into the weekly, which will be my paycheck budget. Oh, okay. I got a lot of going, a lot going on. Let me take this out because I may move it around. I'm gonna leave that cover page by cloth and paper. So let's do a paycheck budget. And I believe that there is either 18 paycheck budgets. It appears to be a little bit more than 18. It's 20 something. Okay, so now we have paycheck budget. Next is envelopes, which I'll be getting back to this year. Spend it tracker. Here we go. Envelopes. And the good thing about this bundle is, you, as you can see, you can separate it, move it the way that you feel that you need through your planner. Um, next up, we have spending tracker. This is debt. Well, excuse me, next up we have debt. I'm going to put one of these here because I like to kind of just jot some things down sometimes. And this was our last year's debt payment. I left it in here because I think I'm gonna need more than just a few. So I'll leave that, but I'll put the new ones in just in case I run into the ones from this year. Okay, and then we have spending tracker. This is last year's spending tracker. Uh, this is this year's spending tracker. So I honestly just love the plain one, but I'm gonna add this one. And we are almost done with this bundle, y'all. And then here is the savings. We're starting over. So here's the savings. And this here's the bundle, we're gonna add that. And then we have a year in review. We have notes, but I'm gonna slide my uh, year in review right here outside of notes. I'm gonna re-put this dashboard here. I just didn't want it to be on a blank page, if that makes sense. So then I have the weekly finance assessment. So this was in our December box as well. And what I'm going to do is kind of go through and try to decide if I'm gonna put it in between each week. Let me see. I would really probably have this, let me put it behind here. Um, in my personal uh, planner as well, which is my everyday carry. I would put one in there as well. And then, so that goes before you get to the monthly. And then that way I can kind of come in here and do an assessment uh, for the week. And now let's just put those little small things back. Let's see, can y'all see? I've just been working like a bad hatter and haven't even <laughs> really seen if y'all were in the shot. So to pay, I'm gonna put that on like the paycheck budget so I can do that. Um, my word for this year is to be intentional, but I need to find somewhere to put it. Let me see, I got a, found a, I think I wanna put it here. So I go against that um, background there. And I love to have these in here and these are just like encouraging words and I have like, show me how good it gets. I'm Yoshida Thornton and I'm so lucky everything always works out for me. I'm going to keep that. I'm gonna slide it here so I can kind of see it. And then this was a journal card from last year, um, Sinking Funds to Create. I'm gonna slide that to Sinking Funds. I need to make a tab for the spending tracker. It, obviously I never did it. OMG, will y'all look at that? Oh my God, do 
Do I have another one? I think I do. Let me see. Thank the Lord. Wait a minute. Ooh, ain't that good? <laughs> well, I guess we're adding this here. Unbelievable. So, let's add this down. I'm like, why is my planner moving? Huh. But I have to say, um, I'm a little rough sometimes with um, this planner especially. But even though it doesn't go out the house, I just, um, it gets used. All right, let's put that to the side. And let's, uh, maybe I got too much in here. No, I don't. And truthfully, I probably need one just for the back cover to put in this cover opposed to sliding this one in here. I'm thinking about getting a um, different folio, but I know I don't need it. Okay, so we have this. We were going to sinking funds. Let's see, sinking funds. It should be, it should be a top tab. The sinking funds, business, spending tracker. Here we are. So for sinking funds, I'm going to add this over here. I really want more of a neutral paper clip, but we're just going to use that. And then I have a note on here. Uh, I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to add it to this week where I'm at, where I need to be at. Let's kind of go through it now. Just a quick flip. This is just going to stay this away. Maybe I should. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'll take. Since I have this page, I'm going to take this out. Add it to the front here. Excuse the holes on this, but I like it. So now this is how it looks. Let's go through. We have our inbox, which I don't even know if I need an inbox for this. We have our goals. I might change that just to goals. Um, calendar. And we have our monthlies, month on two pages. And I need to fill that out. And then we get into the finance bundle. We have this. We have our monthly budget set up. And y'all, I'm so excited besides a few little dashboards and um, those monthlies from Rosie Paper, Rosie Paper Tree. This is pretty much all me. I created a whole budget planner. <laughs> um, and then this is the paycheck. Then we're gonna get into the weekly finance assessment. And I wish I had like a page flag on me to label this so that I know to get here. I'll probably do that later. And then we get into the envelopes, the envelope breakdown. We have our pocket here with just some stickers, which I really need to clean out because I don't really use these like talking about. Then we get into debt. That is our next one. And here's just a little sticky half page just to jot down some debt and the way I'm going to pay it off. So that's debt payment. Then we get into sinking funds. No, excuse me. Spending, tra spending tracker. Here's our spending tracker. 
And then I think these are our sinking funds. Oh, we have business expense here. And this is just something I made for myself to just track my business expenses. I need, I have an updated version that I need to put in here. And then we get into sinking funds. And this is a dashboard from last year. And savings. And then we get into in-year review and then notes. And that is it, y'all. And this is just some tool paper that I had. All right. And that is my 2024 budget set up. And she's not too thick. She's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them for you. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and uh, let me know that you have joined the Cove and I'd love to welcome you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.